Hey guys, Toolman Tim here. Welcome back to the workshop where we build business, create community, find freedom, and share success. Saturday morning, which means it's time for another edition of our weekend workshop. And this week I got a cool one for you. I wouldn't really call it a review, I'd call it more of an unboxing video, but I just picked up a 200 watt solar all-in-one, almost all-in-one kit from Amazon. I'm really excited about getting my feet wet, so I want to show you guys what all comes in the eco-worthy 200 watt solar kit. Just real quick, before we dive in, if you want to know more about me, toolmantim.co, that's toolmantim.co. If you're new here, five pieces of content a week. We have preparedness related videos, we have tool reviews, and a Sunday night live stream called Talking Tools where we talk about just about anything. Preparedness related, homesteading, freedom, independence, tools, handyman business, the works. Come by 7 o'clock Mountain Time, 9 o'clock Eastern, right here. Subscribe so you know all about it. Thanks guys, and I always appreciate the support. So, um, this journey, and I'm going to do a few videos on my journey in solar as time goes on, but this journey all started a couple of months ago on Float. If you guys don't know what Float is, it's called Float.app, F-L-O-T-E dot A-P-P. My favorite social media platform, just incredible. Uh, if you want to check it out, go over there, check it out. It's kind of a hybrid of Facebook and Twitter, but with uh, a lot more free speech available. It's, it's, it's incredible. I love it. Anyway, I did an AMA over there, uh, basically where the community could ask you any kind of questions. And the big one was they wanted to ask me a bunch of preparedness questions, and I answered everything I could. But I got a few questions on solar, and I realized, guys, I had to admit... I don't know solar. I don't know Jack. Well, I know Jack, but anyway, but I don't know solar. I don't know Jack about solar. So I figured what better way than to uh, interview someone who knew a bit about solar. So I had Chicken Hawk from Chicken Hawk Farmstead on the Sunday night live stream. We had an incredible conversation about solar. I learned a ton from him. I've been digging into a bunch of videos ever since, and I figured what better way to get used to working with solar than to start getting your feet wet. So I, you guys know I upgrade, anyway, I upgraded to some battery tools this summer. So I had some superfluous still uh, landscaping gas powered gear, sold some of that, cashed in all my bottles, my empties, and turned them into, uh, well, my whole system so far is two deep cycle batteries, an inverter that isn't here yet, and this solar kit. So I'm going to down the road talk about all the rest of the stuff, but today I wanted to share with you guys. I've already had a bunch of questions on social. What exactly is in this system? So let's take a look. So here's the box, guys. I had to step back a bit so you can see it. I'm going to try to do this without it falling apart. So it's eco-worthy, 200-watt system. Reliable, solar, expert. Sounds good to me. But anyway, the cardboard looks good. Let's flip it over. I've already opened it, but we're going to take a look at what comes inside. So the first thing I noticed when I got it, my daughter actually picked it up at the post office. She said, Dad, this is really heavy for the size of it. And to me, that told me, hey, I think they're kind of substantial. And when I picked up the box, she wasn't wrong. She wasn't just crying or being a crybabe. No, I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. I love that she goes to the mail for me. This was the box here. There was a rip in it. I was kind of concerned. Anyway, I don't think I need to be because it seems to be very the design of it is very sturdy and what i love is you pick up the panels and they're heavy so let's take a look at what comes in the box all right so here's the accessory bag we'll talk about what comes in that down the road here's our manual I believe these will be the mountain clips some wires and here are the really nice there's two of these 100 watt solar panels. Tempered glass or whatever it's called exactly there. It's got the connectors on the back, nice aluminum, uh, I guess square tubing or angle iron around the sides. And you know, they're a solid, I don't know, they're probably 10 pounds a piece anyway. And yeah, so I, at least the design of them, because I've seen, I've watched a lot of review videos on a lot of different solar systems. And some of them look pretty cheap and pretty chintzy. So I was pretty pleased with this. The reviews on Amazon were awesome. 
We'll do a full-on review once I've played with this for a while. So this is just like I said, an unboxing showing you what comes in it. So let's see if we can do this without breaking them. Here's solar panel number two. We'll get rid of the cardboard here so we can set things up just a little bit better. All right, so solar panel, solar panel. There we are. Some solar connectors. There's a, they're a pigtail two to one. I don't exactly know what these go to yet. It's kind of fun because I just took a real quick look at this earlier today and I thought, you know what? We're gonna unbox this together and see what all comes with it. So these are the really weird mounting clips. I don't even know quite how they work yet. I say they are, I better open it up to tell you for sure. Stainless steel mounting hardware, that's good. And yeah, there are the, that's really weird. Stainless steel nuts and bolts, but aluminum clips to mount them to the roof. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna mount them on the roof of the garage or on the roof of the Seacan storage container right next to me. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. That's a flat roof so I can angle it better. The problem with the garage roof right here is it's an east-west peak and the sun is that way. So if I wanna get them kinda of up to take advantage of southern exposure, I might have to get a little creative with how I mount them. So any of you guys out there that are solar experts or know a little bit more about mounting than I do, let me know. Anyway, so stainless steel hardware, aluminum mounting clips. I guess we'll set them on the glass there. I showed you the manual. Pictures look pretty straightforward. I haven't, uh, anyway, we'll get into that later on. Now, it comes with 16 feet of solar cable, both the uh, positive and the negative, the red and the black. Show you what we get here. We'll come up a little bit closer to show you some of this stuff. Let's use our MT knife Genesis 2 neck knife to open that up. <laughs> Shameless plug for Patrick, but I love this damn thing. So let's come up a little bit closer and show you what we get with this. So here are the brackets. We'll see how they work. Not quite sure yet, but that's okay. These are these two to one pigtails. Just if you want to get a look at them, they feel very sturdy. They're like a somewhere between a vinyl and a rubber. Flexible, but not too flexible. And 16 feet each of red and black solar wire with the cable on one end, bare wire connection on the other. Looks like these connect into those. I believe they have to do with hooking into the solar panel. Obviously they have to do with ho hooking into the solar panels. And what else do we have in our bag here? Let's see what this guy is. I don't know what this is. So, oh, more mount, oh, more mounting hardware and more clips. So there's the rest of them. Same shit, different day, uh, same size. Yep, so we get eight of them, enough to do both panels. And then a 20 amp charge controller. So oh, a few little, uh, Alligator clip style, kind of, electrical cables. I'll bring this up to show you a little bit closer. So this is the charge controller. It's a 20 amp, I know that. Um, it is the, see if I can find it here, model number EW1906. It's the cheaper, less efficient charge controller. I decided to go with this simply because this was the first system that I was getting my feet wet on. So I just figured, hey, We'll start with something small. I can always upgrade the charge controller down the road. Now it does say that it's good for 12 or 24 volt as well. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm going with a 12 volt system for the time being. So let me come up a little bit closer. It actually, surprisingly, this charge controller feels sturdier than I expected. Room to hook in your wires there. On off power button, LCD display, and two USB so you can pull power directly I guess from your solar panel before it goes into your batteries. I think that's kind of cool. Four, there we are, four holes to mount it to the wall. Uh, probably you can't quite see, but right over here is where I have my, uh, the power, there's an on off for the, the main electrical coming in. And I also have my furnace hooked up right there. So this will be a good enough spot as any. 
There we are. Okay. So, in the box, two 100 watt solar panels, 20 amp charge controller, two coils, red and one of red, one of black, 16 feet of the solar cable, two of the two in one pigtails. And I know somebody's going to slam me and say, Tim, you don't know any of this stuff. Well, yeah, I don't know any of this stuff. It's the first time I've ever bought anything solar. So <laughs> give me a break. Anyway, I'm learning, you're learning. Anybody knows a name for some of this shit, throw it in the comments below. But this is just uh, me and you learning as we go. So there's our pigtails right there. Eight mounting cl clamps, clips, whatever you want to call them. Two bags of mounting hardware owner's manual and a small package of wire connectors that I assume go on the end of these red and black wires when we hook up the panels and that oh and a little manual for the charge controller I'll go through all this down the road so what do I expect this to do well to be honest I don't really know yet I'm gonna test it out I'm still learning I mean I've always been able to convert you know if you take 15 watts sorry Try that again. 15 amps at 100 watts gives you, ah, we're going to cut that out. <clears throat> so what do I expect this system to do? Well, I really don't know a whole heck of a lot about it yet. I've been watching some videos on how to figure capacity, drainage, the whole, there's so much to it. And I know that it can be made more simple and I'm going to try to do that with you guys as I go along. You know, I know my basics of, you know, 1500 watts uh, divided by, you know, 110 volts is, anyway, your amps. I, I know the basic simples of, you know, domestic electrical kind of formulas and that kind of stuff. But this is all new to me. So it's a brand new topic I'm learning. I love to dive into new topics. But this is something that is going to be modular, I hope, or at least <laughs> the information is going to be modular. The plan, hopefully, is to eventually have four or maybe even six of these panels with four or maybe even six batteries. I'll talk about all this in my solar video down the road. But what I learned from taking my garage off the grid, I'll be able to turn into, hopefully, taking my RV off the grid and hopefully building a backup for a backup for a backup for a backup emergency power for the house. <laughs> You know, you know how it is. So, you know, basically we have our regular power. Then we have our great big firm and generator. Then we've got a 1500 watt inverter. I'm just excited. Like redundancy after redundancy. But this is just something really neat and really cool that I want to play with and learn. And I hope you guys follow along with me as I learn about solar. Because it's going to be kind of fun. So, yeah. That is a look at the EcoWorthy 200 watt Amazon solar kit. Just an unboxing. First thoughts. Not really a review. I hope nobody came into this video looking for a review because I literally haven't even hooked anything up yet. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this. Always love you guys dropping by and hanging out with me in the workshop. I know you can spend your time anywhere and I really appreciate you coming along and hanging out with me. So guys, as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.